Yeah, hi folks. Now, just a quick video today and hat tip to Cross the Rubicon for the first clip, which is about Tusiata Avia, a so-called poet and writer. Now, according to Stuff, for which I've posted a link below, this racist hate is acceptable for the upcoming arts festival in Auckland. Now, according to Tusiata, quote, brown people will laugh and white people will be uneasy, unquote. And you'll see why, folks. Two hundred and fiftieth anniversary of James Cook's arrival in New Zealand. Hey, James. Yeah, you in the white wig and that big endeavour sailing the blue blue ocean like a big asshole fuck you bitch James I heard someone shoved a knife right up into the gap between your white ribs at Kealakekua Bay I'm gonna go there, make a big makahiki luau, cook a white pig, feed it to the dogs, and fuck you up, bitch. Hey James, it's us. These days we're driving around in SUVs and looking for you. Or white men like you, who might be thieves, or rapists, or kidnappers, or murderers, yeah, or any of your descendants, or any of your incarnations, cause you know, hey bitch, we're gonna fuck you Tonight, James, it's me, Leilani, Danielle, and a car full of brown girls. We find you on the corner of the Justice Precinct. You've got another woman and a headlock, and I've got my father's pig hunting knife in my fist. And we're coming to get you. Sailing around in your resolution, your friendship, your discovery, and your fucking free love. Watch your ribs, James. Because I'm coming with Kalani Opu, Kane Kapolei, Kanaina, Keawe Opala. Kula Ili Moku, who is a god, and Nua'a, who is king with a knife. And then, James, then we're gonna fuck you up for good, bitch. Here, yeah, and what do we hear from Byron Clark about this? Crickets. Now, I just came across this the other day from a year ago. It's a seminar instructing people how to deplatform people who have a different opinion to Byron. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming along to this workshop. So if you were at the, the public talk yesterday, you would have heard a lot about the uh, hate and misinformation and disinformation that's being spread through social media. Um, and the purpose of the workshop today is to look at a practical thing that you can do about this, which is reporting content to platforms in order to deplatform some of those people who are spreading that hate and misinformation. 
and lo and behold, I'm part of his lesson. Uh, question in the chat there, is it possible to report without signing in? Uh, I think it is on YouTube, on Facebook, though, you would need to be, be signed in, uh, particularly in the case of if you're reporting something for harassment, it'll ask you, is it you being harassed or is it a friend being harassed? And then if it is if it is a friend, it'll get you to search your Facebook friends to find the person being being harassed. So um, it is a limitation there of if it's somebody you don't know, you can't actually report it for harassment. Um, YouTube, though, you, you can report that. All right, so in this video here, if you're at the, the talk yesterday, you'd recognize um, Terry Opines. Um, and this is a video he made um, back in August where he is... Um, uh, stating that there are various politicians uh, masquerading as, as Māori. Um, so click on the three dots, click on report. We can go here, hateful or abusive content. And I would choose uh, promotes hate or violence. And then next. So it'll ask you for, for a timestamp here. For this one, um, I know that it is 11 seconds where he starts talking this, and, and it gets, gets you to provide some additional details there. So in this example, I would write something like, uh, the man in this video is claiming that uh, numerous Maori politicians and leaders are not actually ethnically Maori, um, which is a common racist trope. Um, what he does in this video, if you watch through to the end, he, he shows photographs of, of various Maori leaders and politicians and, and comments on their skin tone and eye colour, claiming that they're not actually not actually Maori and they're predominantly European. And this is And that is fact. They are predominantly European. A simple blood test or DNA test would prove that. Uh, this is a, a trope that wants to where that, that is used to like erase Maori ethnicity by claiming there's no full or real Maori left. Um, I haven't had a lot of success with um, this particular kind of racism on YouTube. I think because uh, the people who are checking these reports aren't necessarily as culturally aware as we might be in Aotearoa about this sort of issue. Now, why would the people in America be any different than here? Um, it's a bit more clear cut when it's um, some of the more like Islamophobic content, um, for example, where uh, obviously globally the Muslim population is a lot bigger and Islamophobia is something that there's a bit more global awareness of than this kind of anti maori racism. But still, nonetheless, I would, I would recommend reporting that kind of racism as well. Um, and the more, more reports there are, the more likely there is, will be, is that there'll be some action taken there. Yeah, now folks, apparently I get mentioned in Byron's new book, or should I say, toilet paper. Now I don't know what he said, and I don't care. The guy is a complete moron. Anyway folks, I post a link to his video, and to my video as well.